Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new to this channel, then make sure you click the subscribe button below so that you could get the latest updates and whatnot, guys. And as we know, as you know, it's so one of our multi bag of picks. Yes, guys, Lloyd Steels Industries Limited. This company's quad results has been come. I think uh, one day before the results has come. And today, as you can see, that there has been a uh, spurt in volume of around 4.86 times. There has been a volume increase. So what was the result actually and what to know guys and even though this company is a smallly valued company but we are very very positive with company guys and we sure we are sure that it can one day be in double digit in short guys and moving on this is the quarter end results and the financial results for this quarter ended and as you can see see here guys and revenue from operations is 4 to 49 lakhs which means 42 crores if we compare quarter on quarter it is around 30 crore jump in revenues guys and if we compare year on year I mean if we compare this December quarter with December quarter is can you see here 3581 here 424 that means 35 crore previous uh, year quarter and now it is 42 crore and if you also know that the other income has constantly come down even though the other income has constantly come down to 70 lakhs the revenue is being increased guys and as you know that the cost of material consumption is being the same level and is in the steel industry in the fabrication industry the material cost consumption would be very very high guys and as you can see here the manufacturing expenses has been increased and finance cost they have said that refer note 7 and this refer note 7 we would see what the note 7 said guys and as you can see here from 43 crores they are earning they are spending around 42 crores and the profit before uh, tax exception items coming around 60 lakhs 60 lakhs is the profit i mean for the if we compare year on year as well as quarter on quarter the results have been same i mean similar there has not been discrete degrade in this uh, results even though the economy is in negative figures mark but this company is able to try out and able to produce good results and and you don't know guys the revenues keep on increasing and one day sure it will be a multi bagger picks guys and moving on before going to this note 7 we want to see an important matter guys as you know here 59 lakhs or 60 lakhs is the profit and this time the operating profit has finally come guys and the total profit uh, is coming around uh, 59 finances and other comical income and totally the eps is 0 0.01 guys and 0 0.01 is eps and if you see on the 9th month basis i mean 9 month to month basis as you can see here today from uh, year of previous year it has 70 crores the revenue and now it is 90 crores and the total profit it has compared the profit has been decreased but what was the reason guys the reason was here as you can see here one the employee benefit expenses has been increased as you can see here and another thing is that change in inventory is also increased that was the two reasons why this decrease has been caused so moving on what is let us see the note 7 thing so that i think that will be interesting to see what this case and they have seen that uh, leases and as you can see the 0.7 they are calculated this assumption as per as 116 so the cost of depreciation and asset are coming around 14 lakhs and 30 lakhs that is what they are going to give in this and uh, this is the official limited review report given by the company regarding that we are the company is presenting true and fair view so if you ask me whether what will happen now guys we already said 70 paise is a resistant level for this company and if it breaks its 70 paise we can see rupees 1.12 at least or 1.20 in liar steel industries limited that because the book value of this company is 1.20 rupees guys and let us hope all good things will happen this company also guys and see you in another video very soon.